Hi, in this video tutorial, we are going to look at the components of a shapefile and fix the one of the common problems with it. And one of the only fixable problems with a shapefile is to add a missing projection file. And we're going to do that with QGIS. So we're going to start by looking at a zipped shapefile. It's the most common way to receive a lot of geographic information. Um, a shapefile is essentially a whole bunch of different um, files that are, have the same file name, just different file extensions that all work together to uh, draw a location on a GIS system or GPS. Uh, so we're going to look at the shapefile. It's all zipped together here. So using Windows 10, we're going to right click on it and say extract all. A little window will pop open here saying, where do you want to extract it to? We'll just use the default location. And then it'll extract all the information and create a new folder for it. So we'll go into that folder uh, drill down till we can see all of the shapefile components and we can visually inspect them. So we'll look for all of the file names that have the same kind of prefix to them. So there is the this number here, underscore AA. So we'll select all of those and we'll see there's four different files to it that make up the shapefile. Uh, one's the .dbf, which is a database file, which is all your table information. The .shp has your geometry information. Uh, .xml is an optional file name that has some styling type components to it. .shx kind of is the file that bridges all of the different shape files together. And then we should also be looking for a .shp file, which is missing. So we should be aware that this may not draw in the right right location when we add it to our QGIS project. Um, so the rest of them, you can probably see that there is no .prj files in the whole thing, um, which is pretty common if one aspect of the zip file is missing something, they all probably will be. So we can go through and select the .shp, so it looks like there's four different shape files on this one zipped uh, zip file or shape file. And then we can just drag and drop that into a QGIS project. And then we can drop it in there. And if we look at our layers, there's four different ones. There's a question mark there in QGIS saying that uh, it doesn't know what the coordinate system is. So in here, it's kind of hard to tell where on in the world it is essentially like uh we wouldn't be able to visually verify on a blank screen where where is this drawing so a quick way to do that is to use our web uh, map services and add the open street maps standard map it's a free base map with qgis that can be added in as a plugin and add that in there and see if this draws anywhere so doesn't seem to be drawing on our map. Uh, on the bottom right corner here, we can see that the, our coordinate system for the map is uh, the web indicator or uh, EPSG 4326. Um, so we can try changing that to something um, that's more likely to be the same projection or coordinate system as the shapefile. We can kind of get a hint here from the file name of the shape file that says UTM 83 underscore 10. So it's probably UTM zone 10, probably in the North American datum 83. So we can click on this little tool down at the bottom here and it'll open up the coordinate system for our map overall. So we can um, either search for our coordinate system by UTM and to kind of browse for it down here or because it's something I work with a lot I have it in my favorites so we can say UTM zone 83 or go uh, to use the EPSG code which is 26910 for UTM zone 10 or 26909 for UTM 9 and so forth so UTM zone 10 double click on it and sit Okay, and then everything will transform and redraw, and you can see that our shape file is actually drawing on a base map now. So 
we zoom out, we can see that it's somewhere in British Columbia, generally the right spot. We work in this area quite a bit, so it's probably drawn correctly. So now we know that our map coordinate system is lined up to our shapefile coordinate system. And now all we have to do is fix a shapefile by adding a projection to it. So QGIS has a tool that uh, will do that for us. So we can go to our geoprocessing um, pane on the right. If it's not showing for you, you can go into view and panels and then make sure processing tools, processing toolbox is checked and it'll show up here. So we can search for define find shapefile projection. So we can double click on that. And then you can see there's little brackets here that indicates nothing, which shows that there's no projection system or coordinate system assigned to that shapefile. So we can select one and then use this to find a little icon there and it'll bring up a window where you can search for your coordinate system. It's one of the recent ones we use, so it's UTM zone 10. Double click on that and hit run. And then you can see in the brackets there, a coordinate system will be assigned to it. So we can just go through and assign it to all of them. And we can verify that it's actually working by looking at our shape files. And we can look for the .prj file, which is here. So next time we actually add that shape file to a map, it doesn't matter what the coordinate system of the map view is, it'll actually draw in the right spot. So now we'll just go through and do it to all the other shape files that we brought in. So next time we share that file with someone, it'll actually draw in the right spot and there'll be no, no chance of error. So now we fixed our shape file and it draws in the right spot. If we wanted to change the coordinate system of our map to something else, we can do that. And It'll change the look of the shape file, but it'll still draw in the same spot. So that is how you use QGIS to assign a projection or to fix a shape file. Thanks for watching.